Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, deeply uh, grateful to Catalyst Canada for this award. I'm uh, grateful to all the people, women and men, who have mentored and supported me over the years. There are so many people to mention. Et en premier lieu, vous comprendrez que cet honneur revient d'abord et avant tout au mouvement des jardins et aux 6000 dirigeants élus qui ont osé poser envers moi un geste de confiance et de conviction. Je le partage aussi avec euh, un grand nombre de nos employés, de nos gestionnaires, un grand nombre de femmes aussi qui, à travers le mouvement des jardins, font de très belles choses. J'aimerais aussi offrir cet honneur, cet hommage à Dorimène Desjardins. Franchement, sans le rôle qu'elle a joué au tout début du mouvement des jardins, je ne suis pas certaine que je serais ici à recevoir cet honneur. But I'm grateful to one person, most of all, and that's my mother. My mother is a very special woman. No, she's not in Africa. <laughs> She, uh, she's 88 and she lives in Boucherville. She was for many years my catalyst. She encouraged me to work with passion and to do my best in school, in music, at work, and in my life. She and my father didn't believe that because I was a woman, I should set my sights lower. Equally important, she encouraged me to get involved in projects and issues, to connect with others, engage with them, inspire action, and make an impact. She didn't believe you should sit back and wait for someone else who could do the job. We need to get the job done. That's good advice still for all of us. Today. We could wait for more women to rise to the executive suites and corporate boardrooms. After all, women exceed men in most university programs, so it's bound to happen eventually through the weight of numbers. But as we know, there are still many challenges. It could take a very long time. For me and for all of us in this room, Wait and see is not an option. Instead, all of us should be catalysts in our own organizations. We should be setting concrete objectives, creating opportunities, mentoring, sponsoring, and measuring progress. Getting people to think and act differently about this issue is one, I believe, of the most difficult management challenges. But it can be done and it will be done. That's the only way we will increase the pipeline of women ready to compete and to contribute at the highest levels in our organizations. This is what I aim, what we aim to do at Desjardins Group. And this award tonight will continue to stimulate our efforts. I would like to conclude with a very inspiring quote from Madame Roosevelt. She said, the future only belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Our country needs more women and more diversity in leadership roles and positions. I'm convinced that this dream can be a reality if all of us in this room become catalysts for change. Congratulations to Catalyst, to the team, to the board of directors, to the advisory board for what you are doing. Congratulations to you, Jennifer, to you, Michael, for your great contribution. Thank you very much for this great honor tonight. <laughs>